Hey, what's going on Virgo? Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Ayoka. For those of you who are new to my channel, um, I am going to just bring you an energy update real quick. I had a long day. My friend's funeral was today. It was amazing, you guys. Um, she had a major turnout. Really, really, really fun event. It's, I know it's everything that she would imagine you know if she was alive to actually think this up but um she had a party afterwards for the repast we had the dj the food was good everything even the service was good y'all the service probably was like 30 minutes but the preacher preached some stuff that i needed to hear today um especially when it comes to you know my particular path so like i was telling you guys before that my friend she also was um a spiritual advisor as well like she was intuitive so she had some aspects of herself that wasn't always sanctified i guess they would say and um he spoke about that how god uh like how no matter what it's like God still loves us regardless of who we are and what we do and it's religion that tells us to judge people and I mean some of the stuff he was saying and I was like oh my god I needed that because it reminded me of something that actually took place between me and someone else maybe like a month ago a couple of weeks ago I don't know y'all know I don't, I don't got time together but yeah, it was very, um, it was just a good service, y'all, and a all out good turnout for her. Baltimore showed up for Phoenix, y'all. So, thank you so much for everybody who has said, um, sent their condolences. I definitely appreciate that. I know she is here with us, and you know, even though I feel like her spirit is definitely you know, close, it's near, I, I can feel her energy heavy, and I know she was just up there in heaven rejoicing, because we put on, um, the DJ play Jeezy, I'm telling you, she love, I love Jeezy too, y'all, so, um, Jeezy is a rapper, y'all, for those of you who do not know who he is, um, so they play some hip-hop, you know, we love hip-hop, so, we had a good time, y'all, so, but let me see what the energy is like. And I came home and I just kind of did like a couple of readings. I tr I'm trying. I'm trying, y'all. <laughs> I'm trying to get them out, y'all. Bear with me, okay? It's been a long day. I will be able to really start fresh um, tomorrow morning when I rise to take my son to work, okay? But, however, let's see what's up with Virgo's energy. I can't go to bed without, without touching bases with Virgo, okay? What's up with Virgo's energy? Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, my angelic guides, for showing up, my true guides. Help us with this message. Help me to deliver an accurate, clear message. Thank you for closing the portals to anything not in alignment. And so it is. I got the angel of love in the reverse, y'all. Woo! And the community card in the upright position. Here we go. The door to romance. And the community card. All right, now, so a connection that you have, there seems to be some type of delays, okay? And it could be third-party interference, for real. You know, third-party interference could be uh, just the community. It could be, like, going out, you know? It could be friends. It could be family members. It could be lovers, you know? But when it comes to you... It's like there's a disconnect in the matters of the heart. This could signify divorce, separation, things like that, or emotional rift between two people. And it's like it's hard, you know, to stay together. It's literally like based off a superficial basis for you to, to connect, right? Um, I feel like it's something here that may just be kind of, you may be feeling like you feeling a disconnect. And I feel like it's something here that you're feeling. It's not like, how can I put it? It's not like you're feeling this person disconnecting from you. It's almost like you're disconnecting from this person in some kind of way, right? It's a, it's a definitely an emotional rift between you two. And where this door is open, but no one is walking through it. <laughs> right <laughs> interesting right yeah it's open <laughs> hmm 
Hmm. Yeah, whatever is happening with this association of some kind here, you could be connecting more with the community too as well. You may be connecting with your soul tribe. Um, you may be going out more, you know, and this is why this disconnect is between you and this person. Um, or you could have been at, a, look, a repast funeral or something, a celebration today, right? And this is why you guys weren't supposed to, couldn't connect, you know, whatever it may be. But tell me about this emotional rip. Tell me about the angel of love in the reverse. Well. <laughs> Knight of Wands up, right? I do feel like someone is being ambitious or, you know. But. There go the but. But trying to balance some things here with the two of pentacles, okay? All right, so that's where we see, right? So whoever the knight of wands energy, that could be a masculine energy, okay? That could be a fire sign, doesn't have to be. But let me see something. Yeah, and the Knight of Wands is someone who's kind of like in and out. So they may come in and then next thing you know, whoop, you like, <laughs> but that's because they juggling. Okay, they doing a lot. And I'm saying it's like you may have to, you may have to be bold and direct with what you want with this person. Okay, but however, that's what it feels like. And tell me about this Two of Pentacles here. You know, you could be the Knight of Wands for real, you know, just enthusiastic and and you got this vision, you're going after your purpose. It's like, that could be both of y'all energy. But tell me about the Two of Pentacles. I'm going to switch out cards. I'm telling you, these cards been having me like just shuffle, 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 shuffle. Like any day now. Okay. So page of pentacles in the reverse position, okay? So somebody wanted to do something. Somebody wanted to pretty much, how can I say, get some type of idea off the ground, right? But not really doing it because of fear. I feel like it's more like that ego energy that kicks in. You you get scared, you're worried, you know, will I be able to do it? Yeah, four cups in the reverse position. I feel like here it's like, Whoever this is, whoever's playing the Knight of Wands energy, definitely clear in the vision, wanting to go forward, trying to make a decision here, you know, what should I do? But what I feel is that with this four cups in the reverse, some clarity is coming through about that answer. Okay, so tell me about that clarity. Some type of awareness is coming through about what decision to make. The fool card is in the upright. 
So look, Virgo, if this is you and this energy is almost like this way, this thing of you choosing your happiness. Okay. And you taking this leap of faith and deciding, you know what? There's a disconnect between me and this person. It's not really, you know, moving anywhere. You could be in a separation with this person. You could be divorced or you, you know, not with this person, not friends with them or something. Right. And it's like now instead of you just sitting around and being bored with life right your love life period or the lack of excitement or whatever or contemplating about what you should be doing with this connection sitting around waiting you're now deciding to be more active you're now deciding to you know what i'm gonna take a chance right i'm gonna take a chance and just see what's out there the hangman yeah you don't want to wait i feel like you're at this point now where you are not want you don't want to wait you've been so devoted and even trying to be flexible here um, when it comes to your circumstances, trying to adapt to it and everything, but it's like you don't want to adapt no more. So you, yeah, the judgment card is in the reverse position. You had a lot of self-doubt. And I, what I'm hearing, this is like literally a lesson for you, okay? This was a lesson for you because I feel like this is something that you may always do. You may wait you you're in this waiting energy um and you don't put your own needs first okay and this was this period you've been given this time to reflect really to really reflect here especially about what you know your own actions and everything right now um and you come up with a decision it feels like because it's like you were not moving forward. Six of Swords in the reverse position here. It's like you having a hard time or was having a hard time with letting go of this person. But I got the sun, okay? It could have been fucking with your vibe, for real. Tell me why the sun is out. But when I see the sun, period, even if it was messing with your vibe... You know, you may have had some unrealistic expectations for this connection. You're choosing your happiness and you're choosing to stay optimistic. You're choosing to just see the truth for what it is. Yeah. Two of Pentacles comes out reverse and here go the sun again, right? It's like that's that need to stop juggling, you know need to make a choice right it's like all of that stuff is there and in order for you to see the brighter side of this whole thing you i feel like you're recognizing now i gotta make a decision i really have to choose because this is fucking with my vibe <laughs> You know, you like, I'm tired of having to go within <laughs> and have a little talk with my inner child, okay? Yeah. I think you're getting it, Virgo. Tell me about the daughter romance. Mm-hmm. Look at that. Yep. Three of Wands comes out. The Ten of Cups comes out right beside it. But the World card is in the reverse. So, again, I'm going to pull on and see what that World card is about. But with that Three of Wands energy, it's strictly just letting you know. You got some chances available to you. It's more than one way to get to your Ten of Cups. Okay? And the way that you've been going about doing it, maybe just, you know, waiting for one particular person to come along and... Uh, it's like the cycle isn't closing out. It's like you guys are just still stuck in this cycle. It's just never ending, okay? It never goes anywhere. It's just like it's delays. And then you end up having all of these creative blockages because you didn't run out of ideas on what to do to accomplish the goal. So now I definitely feel like, you know, it's time to think big. Man, become aware of some other opportunities. Wow. <laughs> to get to your ten of cups okay that's that's having 
emotional contentment, love, long lasting relationships, alignment in relationships, things like that, because this cycle here seems to not be closing in. And why is that? Nine of Swords, because someone is fearful and anxious. Wow. <laughs> Two of Wands, upright. Two of Swords comes out beside it, upright. And then the Star card. And basically how I'm looking at it is when it comes to, you know, making the right choices or channeling the energy in the right direction, it's like this person has a hard time doing that. It's like they, you know how you have obstacles and things fail or, you know, for so long, staying hopeful is kind of hard for this person to do that. And they're just fearful. They're in this anxious state about even making that kind of decision. Okay. Um, yeah. It's it's like one of these things of will I look, King of Cups reversed. Just triggered all the time. Oh, just triggered. Okay. Anxious. And it's just like I feel like this person wants to be able to, you know, offer you something here, but the fear gets in the way and Virgo I feel like you're now at this point and what I heard is like breaking point tell me about community the fool card comes out and I feel like you weren't ready to take that leap you know you weren't ready or you aren't you know you weren't wherever you are at in the timeline to take that leap and really to jump out there and 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 meet new people or connect with friends or you know you may have been isolating rather you wanted to be alone but it feels like now because the hangman is in the reverse you're now starting to change your perspective it's like you were resistant to doing it but now you're kind of thinking hmm maybe <laughs> Maybe I could actually connect with someone and they may give me what I need. <laughs> because this circumstance, I'm stuck. <laughs> it's blocked. It's not working. Three of Swords comes out in the reverse position. So... I do feel like you're healing. I don't feel like you're holding on to any like negative emotion for the most part. But I feel like this is you now realizing that I may have to move on because there's a major disconnect between us two. And yep, the judgment card comes out. And so this is what's happening. It's like a judgment call is being made. And you're realizing that you have to make adjustments in this connection. It's like, oh, okay, maybe we're just supposed to be friends and that's it. You know, it's not supposed to go any further. Or maybe I'm just supposed to be with someone else. And this is just not, you know, the person for me. Or this person isn't really ready. So I know I ain't supposed to wait, right? It's like now you're becoming more aware. Let's just put it that way. You're listening to your intuition, especially here with that six of pentacles coming in the reverse. When it comes to the connection, it's not, it's not an equal give and take. It's not equal. It's like what you feel and what you want, it seems to be a little bit more far advanced than what this person actually wants. It's like they want it on a deeper level like when you think about it from their higher self perspective but from their 3d self they're still stuck in fear okay they haven't caught up with the higher self perspective they're not ready to you know embrace that and so yeah Virgo you're just now at this I feel like you're just like you know I don't know what to do <laughs> 
you know what to do but it's just like and i feel like you're open let's just put it that way i feel like you may be open but you're not rushing you're just more like in a state of acceptance now that may be it i feel that's what it is i feel like you are accepting you know what's happening all right so you're like you know what i accept where we are at i'm accepting you know how things are and i'm surrendering right i surrender god i'm no longer gonna keep trying to push and pull and hold on and i'm gonna move towards my life purpose i'm gonna get out there and connect with other people i'm gonna travel i'm gonna go to school I'm going to start this business. It's like you're thinking about all these things that you can do for you, right? I know. Isn't it crazy how the energy shifts like that? It goes from, they want to marry you, <laughs> to like, well, <laughs> you got to laugh though, right? It's like, it's not funny, but at the same time, it's like, what the hell? Well, I guess I guess I have to make another decision here. <laughs> I wanted to find a book to this, but I still want to pull from this. Yes, it's a lot of restrictions, a lot of obstacles. It's like um, it's like <laughs> never ending. Okay, blocks and restrictions. It's like each time you go from a new level. Or a new cycle, it's like, okay, the restrictions are over and everything be cool. And then, boom, you got a whole nother obstacle. It's like, <sighs> and it's like, you're never, ever able to really connect here with whoever this person is you have in mind. So here with the bouquet, this basically speaks about a gift. So let's see. Tell me about this gift. The star card comes out. Some of you are going to be gifted something. And I feel like you're going to get the recognition because some of you are in the limelight. Like you you are you are the star, basically. And that's how I'm really seeing it that this way as far as um, what you do, okay? You may get a lot of gifts because of what you do. And I'm also seeing here that because of your faith okay and it's really feeling like your faith the universe is going to show you that you can have your dreams okay that's how i, I feel like it and it's going to be in the form of a gift okay the universe is going to show you that you can have your dreams you just have to have the faith okay but i feel like that's i don't want to say you're losing faith i still feel like you're optimistic you're optimistic to doing it other ways right you're now open to whatever avenue or whatever door the universe wants you to go through like i said it's like that surrender energy tell me about this gift I know it's okay, baby. <laughs> I don't know who energy I'm pulling in, but don't worry, okay? I feel I feel like you're hurt. You're heartbroken. That's what I'm feeling like. You're heartbroken. The nine of cups comes out. Okay. That's about your wishes coming true. Alright. And that's what you're gonna get. The universe is getting ready to gift you something. It's like, you know how you get this gift? It's like, how can I put it? This is like the universe proving to you that you're going to get what you have been asking for, like your wish fulfillment. It's like, I, I, and it's like there and I can't get it out. I just keep saying it's like, it's like, <laughs> it's like, <laughs> 
you know how you be praying for stuff and you are um you don't see it but all of a sudden you start seeing little um inklings of how the universe can manifest really big in your life in some kind of way i i said big but i didn't probably mean to say that but just just show the universe will start showing you little things like giving you grace yeah showing you favor that's the word showing you favor and you start seeing these little favors showing up in your life and that's how the universe is like look we're showing you we're giving you these favors we're gifting you these small things they may be small things but this is just to show you that um the universe is abundant and will and will give you what you've been asking for with the nine of cups right that wish fulfillment it's like the star card and the, and the nine of cups together. That's like a total wish coming true. You're going to be shown this. Whatever it may be, you're going to be shown this. Whether it's like you having a lack of money, opportunities, or even because someone has been very hesitant even to offer you something, wish could be involving love. Like that's in your nine of cups too. But whatever is coming through for you, it's going to help you to stay optimistic about what you're hoping for with the Nine of Cups energy. Don't worry. Don't be in despair. Okay, so just be on the lookout because you know how the universe works, right? You don't want to miss it. But you're going to be shown okay some of you may have been asking like i need a sign show me a sign show me something emperor in the reverse you know this emperor in the reverse has been hesitant basically is what i'm seeing very hesitant okay when it comes to accepting accepting what an offer from the universe so this may be a lost opportunity okay or they're gonna get lack of opportunities they cho they're choosing their own will yeah they're choosing their own will okay versus god's will for their life is what i'm seeing this is an emperor who's choosing to have their own authority over their life, their own will over their life, their own power to create their own life structure, okay? But the thing is, is that they are emperor in the reverse. So it's like this person is lacking the discipline still, okay? They won't have control, of course, because when we do things that are not aligned with the divine's will, it don't work, right? What is the ancestor's advice for Virgo? black herman all right so let me see you already know i gotta pull out my book it's the hoodoo tarot i don't know it yet all right so what we looking at 11 30 gotta keep time check <laughs>
Look at this. Oh my God. Black Herman is the magician. Truly, I tell you, if you have faith as small as a mustard seed, you can say to this mountain, move from here to there, and it will move. Nothing will be impossible for you. That's Matthew 17, 20. That used to be my favorite scripture. Like I tell the mountains to move. All you got to do is just have faith as small as a mustard seed. That's enough to move the mountain. Okay. When it seems impossible, believe in it. Believe in the impossible is what I'm hearing. So I'm I'm going to pull because I want to know, you know, what is being said. But it's like, <laughs> the universe get ready to show you something. You're just a little ounce of faith here. The universe get ready to show you something. So that you can keep believing. Wow. So Black Herman is dressed in a tux. He holds a stick to the sky that says power in one hand and, a point, and pointing to a Zulu drum peeking out from Virginia snake root bushes with the other hand. He was the most famous Negro magician in the history of the United States between 1892 and 1934. He adopted the name Black Herman to pay homage to two fellow black magicians he admired. Prince Herman and Alonzo Herman. Black Herman's char charismatic personality, illusions, and resurrections after being buried alive made him a national sensation. Herman also made a living selling tonics, mail order occult courses, books, pamphlets, and talismans that were designed to protect its wear from white supremacy. Arguably, one of the most interesting aspects of Benjamin Rucker was how he used his platform as an entertainer as an entertainer and hoodoo man to promote his militant black nationalist political beliefs to further facilitate his mission herman decided to relocate to um new york city which was also ground zero for devout followers of marcus garvey herman even claimed he was born in the dark jungles of africa and was apprentice of zulu witch doctors reflecting both his acceptance of pan-africanist um, ideology and a knack for clever marketing but Black Herman was actually a Virginia, Virginia native who migrated north in search of greater opportunities and an escape from terrorism in the South. He had self-confidence and a strong will to succeed. That was the magic that made him a legend. I don't know. I felt like I needed to read that. We needed a little history lesson real quick, okay? <laughs> Doesn't hurt, all right? Now... When the Black Herman appears in a reading, you are being challenged to make that wish you desire manifest. The difference between a dream and a goal is a plan. So make sure you have a clear one. It is key that you know exactly why each step is necessary to obtain your objective. If you do not, you might be tempted to take shortcuts and find yourself cut short instead. Competent magicians and hoodoo practitioners dazzle others with their results they attain, but the audience and clients rarely, if ever, are around to witness the amount of preparation that is necessary to accomplish a task. The power of creation exists within a focused, mythical mind that is aware of itself. And what did you obtain? Awareness. Okay? You are the magician. And so now is the time you are being, you literally being challenged to make that wish you desire manifest. If you fail to plan, then you plan to fail. Do you really believe it's possible that you can make it happen? Are your talents and skills being put to good use? Do your intentions, beliefs, and desires match the life you live? Stop playing and do what you have to do, even if it's hard. How committed are you to him, her, this, or that? Where there's a will, there's a way. What are you creating, manifesting, permitting right now? 
Do you really want that? <laughs> you heard it. You're being challenged. And, and you're like, why the hell am I going through all these challenges? Why is there so many obstacles? And the universe wants to blow your mind. They just encouraging you. Just have faith as small as a mustard seed, y'all. Especially what I'm hearing. This is like definitely for divine counterparts and soulmate energies. Not that karmic shit, y'all. Have a plan. Let's talk about the plan real quick and then I'll let y'all go. Tell me about how the plan. Show us the plan. Help us to understand how to do the plan. Four swords comes out. So one, find the mental strength, okay? To come out of any anxiety or stress or feeling overwhelmed or whatever that is rest that's what is going to start okay i'm going to read these up right that's the four swords the king of wands came out in the reverse position but like i said i'm reading them up right stay ambitious stay energetic stay optimistic the knight of wands is someone who loves a challenge they want you to be passionate about this. Love this. Oh, this is a challenge. Oh, you challenging me? Challenge, right? That's what you got to go with it, okay? All right, universe, I got you. Okay, you like, I don't like a challenge. I don't want it. <laughs> it's not that serious. <laughs> I feel you, right? <laughs> I'm sorry, spirit team. It is not that. But it is funny, though. I'm for real, y'all. It'd it be so funny, right? Because it'd be like, damn, why we got to work so hard for everything, right? <laughs> <Woo. laughs> yeah, that's what it feel like. That's the first thing. That, and that's simple. Like, the plan wasn't even that hard, y'all. <laughs> Rest. <laughs> be the Knight of Wands. <laughs> okay. Trust your intuition, okay? Let your inner knowledge be your best guide. That's three, that's four, right? So what we say? Rest, be the knight of wands, all right? That means love the challenge. Trust your intuition, that's three. Stay resilient, that's four. That's four things that you need to do, okay? How can we remember this? <laughs> Rest. Passion, intuition, resilience. It's a it feels like it's an ongoing battle, right? You feel very weary right now. You drink. You drink. That's just what it is. You drink. You like, fuck, I'm drained. I am. You may even be in this point of like, I'm giving up or I'm not compromising. <laughs> I'm not. You like, forget this. I don't want it that bad. <laughs> I feel you, right? Because like I said, when it comes to you and I'm hearing this, this is definitely for my divine counterparts, okay? Don't give up, y'all. <laughs> Just have faith as small as a mustard seed. Thank you, our angelic guides, our ancestors, first and foremost, divine. Thank you for helping us all collectively who are interested in pursuing this journey and being in connection with their counterpart. Help everyone to buoy up their faith in God in their higher selves, in their in their look 3D selves too as well. Thank you for providing peace
and some added energy for my collective. Thank you for helping us all. Helping us to stay dedicated, to stay faithful. Thank you for showing us the signs and the synchronicities and helping us in a way, helping us to understand what we are seeing. Thank you for using me as Virgo's messenger. And so it is. All right, y'all. We got this. You got this, boo. All right? I love you guys. Peace.